Hello guys, oh excuse my hair. Today I'm filming a cooking video. If you watch my weekly vlogs then you will know that throughout lockdown we've been cooking loads. It's like become a bit of a thing that we love doing together. It brings us together at the end of the work day and we're loving trying new recipes. And we've just started doing this thing with our friends, which is a virtual cook along. So we'll grab one of our mates on Zoom, we'll set them up on our kitchen counter and then they will talk us through a recipe, like a signature dish of theirs. And so far it's been so much fun. We've learned a couple of new recipes and I thought I would document today's because you guys normally ask what the recipes are and how to make it. So killing two birds with one stone, I'm gonna be cooking my dinner and vlogging it so you can join in along too. The dishes we are making today are three Bangladeshi dishes. Our friend Mo used to run a Bangladeshi Indian restaurant. Um, he's the most amazing cook. Whenever we go around his house, um, the food is always outstanding. So when we first organized this, I was like stupidly excited about the fact that I'd be able to make a curry just as delicious as he does. So today we are making a paneer curry, we're making a taka dal and we're making some minced lamb kebab things that you can serve up as a side or a starter. So yeah, three dishes, it's gonna be quite intense but I'm really looking forward to it. I've just dug all of our ingredients out. I'm pretty sure this is everything we need. There might be a couple more bits, but... So Mo always uses frozen ginger cubes and frozen garlic in his curries and it just cuts down on a bit of time and it's really easy. You can keep it in your freezer so you don't need to worry about fresh ingredients. Perfect for lockdown. So yeah, we've got those. We have some lamb mince for the kebabs, red lentils for the dal, rice obviously as a side and then we have two blocks of paneer with cheese which i wasn't sure about finding in my local supermarket but it was really easy to find just in the cheese aisle next to the halloumi and feta we're definitely going to be making way too many portions for just the two of us today but these will go in the freezer and in the fridge for lunches for over the next couple of days too we need some fresh garlic for the taka dal some big fat tomatoes, some green chilies, some white onions. Um, I like to serve up with a red onion as well on the side, just uh, cold and raw, just I like the flavor it gives. And then we need a whole bunch of spices. These are all the spices that Mo um, told us to get for the curries and we've used them for every single curry he's taught us so far. So far he's taught us about how to make a chicken curry and uh, what was it, a lamb balti? which was insane. Buna. A lambuna, lambuna, yeah, which was amazing. All six of these kind of spice ingredients we use for every single one of these dishes so far. I think it's quite a similar base for all of them. So we have curry powder. I think it's madras. We've got mild, but you can get spicy. We've got cumin powder, which is called jeera. We have a mild chili powder. It's cashmere, again you can get um, spicy, like hot if you want. Paprika, we've got some cardamom seeds and also some bay leaves. So they're kind of like the base spices that you're gonna need. So, I'm excited, we're getting the, <laughs> the camera laptop set up here and then Mo will join us. I should warn you by saying it does get a little bit hectic when Mo is teaching us how to cook. It's always a laugh. There's always a lot of shouting going on like, what, how much of what? Oh, that reminds me, we're also gonna need some oil. You can't use olive oil because the burning temperature is too high. So you need anything else. We're just gonna use sunflower oil. Ginger cubes and then crushed garlic. Yeah, that's the exact same one I use. Ah, oh, amazing. We've got a lot to get through today. So we're doing paneer, yeah. taka dal and lamb kebabs. Yummy! Let's do the marinade first, the lamb, let's, let's get the lamb out first. Mo, do you recommend serving it all at once or would you like make the lamb kebabs and then like keep making the curry and the taka dal and stuff or would you just get it all ready? Do the lamb, let it marinate while we do the um, paneer and then once the paneer is rocking then we can get rid of the fried kebabs. Yeah, so if you chop the curry on the fine leaf, and it, then the chilies, just chop them finely as well. What is this for? It's going in mince. Mince. I love chopping coriander, it's so satisfying. And then you get a the smell of it as well. Chop, yeah, chop, so nice. Smell, so we are chopping the coriander 
and chilli and G is grating an onion for the mince. This is all going in the mince. I'm well up for this. Your um, lamb kebabs are quite spicy spicy normally aren't they yeah i put quite a few it depends how, how how spicy you want it so if you want it really spicy put some more chilies in mm. if you don't want it that spicy just that's enough we haven't got any you sauce put, for it cut, are you cutting four or five um i'm cutting two. Ah. Oh my god oh babe now you're doing <laughs> ah. oh. are you crying he is crying, yeah. We can put the onions in the mix. Okay. And then the coriander and then chili. Just throw that in the mix. Oh. Oh, yeah, lovely spice. I can't see all the tears are on the inside of my glasses. <laughs> Sorry, the chili's gone in Kate's eye and I, I'm crying <laughs> because of the onion. you keep Oh my god, we're a mess, mate. What is that? Garam masala. Yeah, one, one spoon of gramasala, please. Yep. Um, one spoon of jeera. Yeah. Is that a teaspoon? Yeah, is that right? Okay, yeah. Two spoons of paprika. Paprika. Chili powder, one spoon. You want, do you want it hot or spicy? Not too hot. Okay, two. Okay, one, uh, one spoon. One. Yep. Half a spoon of curry powder. We'll do salt. Half a spoon of salt, yeah. Um, and now we... It's the garlic and ginger person who lift at a time. Oh my god. Stairs, stairs. All right, mate, we've got the garlic and the ginger in. Start mixing. Mix it all up. Squeeze it and. Okay, here is our mixture, and it's just going to go in the fridge until we're ready to cook it. So, am I chopping these quite thinly? Put half, half to a side. Okay. Put one half to a side. And the other one, uh, chopped, chopped, please. We're starting on the paneer curry now, so we've chopped up one and a half onion, one tomato, and then G is just slicing some green chilies in half, keeping the seeds in. And this is the same base that we've used for all of the curries so far, so that's handy, easy to remember. So, chilies. Chilies. And now we have green chili and coriander. He's eating a mini roll, which we're very jealous about. <laughs> he tucks out whenever I get the camera up. <laughs> Yeah. Two cardamom, one bay leaf, and then the ginger and the garlic. Yeah. Let's have a look. Do we want the onion? They're just the onions, yeah. We don't want the tomatoes or anything like that. The onions, tomatoes, oh. um, the whole thing. Chilies and coriander. Everything. Okay, we're in. Everything's in. Okay. Oh yeah, turmeric. So everything we chopped up has gone into the pan. A teaspoon of turmeric. Teaspoon and a half of salt. Ours is like a different. Ours is like that mode sound. It's much, much yellower. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Because we're using the frozen ginger and garlic as opposed to what we were using before, it looks much better. Boil half a kettle of water. Can you smell the water? Yeah, go on. So I've put one cup of lentils, I've washed them, and I'm gonna put three cut of the same sized cup of water in there. How are your onions coming along, mate? Can I have a look at them? Teaspoon of turmeric in the tarkadal, and a teaspoon of salt in the hot wall, in the cold water, and a bay leaf and two cardamoms. I hope that makes sense. And that is all just gone in with the lentils. This looks so gross, it's literally just like onions floating in water. But it will be amazing, trust. Gas on, get cooking. Can I see your onions please, mate? Babe, they look amazing. Show us your onions. Oh my God, this, this is, looks like mine now. Am I, am I cooking off the excess water now to make it thick or am I still just sort of cooking it to make it dissolve and just stuff? Just cook, we, want, we, want it, we want it to cook for another five minutes. We want the onion to melt a little bit more. Yeah. Add a little bit more water because after we put the spices in, it's gonna, it's gonna reduce further. So we don't want it to be too dry, we want a bit salty. So add a little bit more water in, so. You guys need to make sure if you follow this that you really keep topping this curry up with water. You don't want anything to burn. You want the onions and the tomatoes to dissolve. And like G's doing, he's just melting, like making sure it's all mixed. Melting and 
bubbling. Yeah, not sticking. <laughs> not sticking, just keep it moving. And then the taco dal, we're literally just waiting for it to boil. Meanwhile, we're gonna chop the paneer like that. And then cube. Okay. Like that. <laughs> We've got too so much food for the two of us. Yeah, but this will this last us a good couple of days. Right? <laughs> yeah. So we need more water in this, even though it looks very watery, we need more. We don't want it to like completely be left without any liquid in it. This yeah. is like building up the base, like a paste. A little bit more. Just going off what mine looks like. It's been 20 minutes since this um, pinne curry has been boiling away the onions. So now it's time to add the spices. What do we need? Got my amazing new spice wrap. Heat teaspoon of um, One curry teaspoon powder. Of, uh, paprika, so three, three teaspoons of paprika. Three heaped teaspoons of paprika. Chili powder, how much, how, much, how, how much chili you want it? How much spice do you want it? Mm, a little bit, we want a little bit of a kick, so we'll put half a teaspoon. We can always add more, I guess. Can I add a tiny bit more water, do you think? Let's have a look at it. You're frozen. Put some more water in because it, it will evaporate. How's the lentils? Is it, is it on the boil? Yeah, it's looking, they're looking huge. I'll show you. Okay, cool. Great. Perfect. Great. Is it giving you a good red colour? Yeah, it's so red. Okay, so, because we're going to put the paneer in and we don't want it to, we want it to be covered by the sauce. We're going to have to start building the sauce up now. So that just means adding more water. It's been about two, three minutes since we added the spices. I'm back on, I'm back on deck in the mix. We're adding the paneer. Oh yeah, perfect. And the dal we literally haven't touched, it's just bubbling away. That looks so good, we've added a lot more water. I have really kind of thinly tried to chop some garlic and this is gonna be the dal to the, no, this is gonna be the taka to the dal. So your lentils wanna to get to this consistency, thick but watery. Um, and the paneer is on a low heat now and it's just been bubbling away for like 10 minutes or so. I've also just spent about five minutes washing rice. Ah, oh, paneer will be done in a couple of minutes. Yeah. Chuck it in. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect, awesome. Garnish, you just wanna add some um, chili and tomatoes and some coriander on top. So we've added the chili, the tomato and the coriander on top and that is the paneer done. So we're just gonna keep that on a low heat until we're ready with everything else. Oh, this is a very fun bit where we get to try a little bit of paneer. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my God. Okay. Add a tiny bit more salt. Got right. a kick. Next, we're gonna add the taka to the dal, which is very fun. Oh my god, look at the state of our kitchen. Yeah, garlic is chopped thinly. And have you got the dry chilies? Oh, we've got chili flakes. Crushed chili. Should oh, I? I bought you a pack of the small dry chilies, so next time I see you, I'll give you a pack. Oh, yes, babe. Put a frying pan with some oil in. Yeah, bring it up to the boil. Put your chili flakes and your garlic, chili flakes and garlic in there. Any sliced garlic is going into the oil. Three pinches of chili flakes. And we want to do this, if I remember correctly, until they're just browned, and then we're going to tip it into the taka, no, into the dal, and, and, yeah. and that's what makes the taka dal, because this is the taka that's we're making. So yeah, when the, when the, the garlic is browned, it will fizzle a lot. Do you reckon it's nice and brown? Bought a whole coriander palm, it's all gone. Good thing I'm growing another one. Look, I'm gonna pour it in now. Can you stop this? Okay, cool, yeah, throw it in, throw it in. Yeah. Right, we're gonna mix the paneer in. Right, we've mixed that in, and this will add the smokiest flavour, and then we add some coriander. Some more coriander. More coriander, oh my god, that looks amazing. Look at that. So excited. Sweet, so that's pretty much done now too. Now Mo, we just need to cook our kebabs and rice. 
Oh, I forgot about the kebabs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tasty version is you're going to fry it in oil. The healthy version is do it on a griddle. Oh, we've got both of these. What do you reckon? I normally do it in oil. Of course you do. What do you reckon, babe? <laughs> we're griddling it, but we're doing the healthy version. So what I do is um, make a flat, more flat burgers, the mini burgers. Yeah. Side, but flat, so it's not too thick. So we want to make sure it cooks right through. If you cook half of it and keep the half, the other half in the fridge. You could have the rest, you could fry the rest tomorrow. Okay. The, the, the paneer is still on the boil, yeah? Just at a low heat. No, no, take it, take it off, take it off. Take it off completely. Please, please. I thought you took it off. Please, I thought you took it off after Kate tasted it. And the lentils, lentils as well. Yeah. I'd say about three or four minutes on each side. Lamb kebabs and we're just gonna fry them on a griddle pan until they're done. We're gonna save the rest of this for tomorrow. You need kebabs. to go, mate. Then feel free. Here we are, here is our feast. We grilled lamb kebabs on a griddle pan, um, three minutes each side or until brown and dished everything up. Oh my God, this, it literally smells incredible. Highly recommend you try this. We have so much left over for the rest of the week, which is perfect.